Hey guys, Sunset Lambs here, and today we're going to be doing part two of our Pirate of the Platypus remake. Um, today is the body. We're going to be doing this body part. Um, remember to comment in the comments uh, that you were the first to watch the video or first to comment, just like first in the comments, and you'll get a shout out. Since I just made the last video, I have no shoutouts right now other than to Hugo Thor who recommended me to remake this because it was kind of a confusing video. <clears throat> Alright, so for this, you're going to need some teal or blue bands, a couple orange bands because in the last video I didn't show you how to make feet, which I'm going to be doing today, and some safety eyes which I will not be actually putting on. I'll show you how to put them on, but I won't be putting them on because I'm going to take the take the second one apart because I do not want to waste my pants. So let's get started. <clears throat> so I have my S-clip here. And now you're going to put three loops on your hook. And you're going to make a six-link magic ring. Sorry if the camera isn't focusing. Make a very loose slip knot in the hole, then go back inside and make a single chain. One. So that's number two. This is going to be number three. Reclaim, pull through. <clears throat> number three. Number four, four, go inside, pull through a band, reclaim, first through second and third. That's number four. And I'm going to speed up for the last two. And sorry if this is going really slow for more advanced people. I understand the last video was very confusing, so I'm just trying to make the video a lot easier for you guys to watch. Alright, after you finish this row, you're going to place your S clip on your loop on your magic ring that's on your hook. And this next row is going to be all increases, which I'll show you how to do an increase. Go in your first stitch, make sure you skip this little slip stitch here. Alright, and then you're going to do one single chain. Reclaim, pull through. Then you're going to go in the same stitch right here. And bring another band through. First through second and third. Then you're going to do that in every single stitch. One, two, now you're going to move on to your next stitch. Come back to me when you finish the entire thing, like the entire loop. Now that you finished that row of all increases, you're going to go into your next loop and make a single increase pattern. Your first stitch will be a single, just a normal single, not two, not an increase, just one single. Well, you're going to pull it through, reclaim, pull the first through the second and third loop. Then you're going to your next stitch and you're going to make an increase, two in the same stitch. One single, go back into that stitch two singles. Alright. One, one stitch in this one. Two stitches in the next. You're just going to keep doing that pattern the whole way around. One single, increase. Single, increase. Come back to me when you have a fish, when you have finished that pattern. Now that you've finished your single increase row, you're going to be moving on to your last row of increases. This row will be a single single increase pattern, which is in your first stitch, you're going to go in and make one single chain. <clears throat> then you're going to your second stitch, make another single, then go into your third stitch and make an increase. One, go back in the same stitch, 
two. Okay, now you're gonna do that pattern the whole way around. One, one, two. One, one, two. I'm gonna do a couple with you and then I'm gonna pause the video so you can finish the row. One, one, two. Okay, come back to me when you have finished this row. Now, since you're done increasing, you're gonna start making the body longer. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be starting out with five rows of single chains. So that's going to be one, so I use bands to count mine, you can use tallies, anything. So I lay out five bands, and as I do a row, I'll take one away so I can count my rows. I'll do one row with you, then you can do the rest yourself. I might not even do the whole row. Just full single chains. Just one stitch in each one of the loops. Come back to me when you've finished going the whole way around five times. Now that you've made half the length of the body, I will be showing you how to attach the face. It should look like this once it's attached. So you're going to need a bill, which I will show you how to, which I'll show you how to do in my, one of my old videos. Because this wasn't requested to be remade, I didn't remake it in a video. If you need it remade, I can definitely do that in the future. <clears throat> All right, so you're gonna need two safety eyes, or wrap bands, beads, and two backings if you're using safety eyes, and your bell, and a blue band. Just one for the face. To start, you're gonna attach your bill. You're gonna find where you want it. I want mine right underneath this magic ring here. So I'm gonna go inside our face and push my hook out of like the inside and grab like underneath where your bill where you want your bill to be and pull one of the bands through then you're going to find the other like place that you wanted your band to go in mine was like right can't find it, nope, right here. Grab your other band and bring it through. Pull it through, this is a little hard if you've never attached like any face parts before. Um, it should be a little bit difficult if, if, if you've never done something like this before. So yeah. Wait one second, I'm I'm being summoned from downstairs. Give me one second and I'll continue. Okay, I'm back. Your fish face might be a little bit squished because you haven't started like making it, finished making it yet. But now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bands, these two inside bands that are like on the inside from your bill, and you're gonna loosely tie them together. So you're gonna like pull it through like this to make like a kind of like how you start tying your shoe. And then do that a second time. But make sure you only pull it tight to the bottom. Don't pull it tight more. Because if you pull it tight more, it'll squish your face. And you don't want that. If you, if you pull it too tight, it'll squish the face. Having a hard time tying it today. Alright, so I didn't pull it too tight, so it's pretty good right here. Then you're going to go inside your magic ring, like in the hole in the middle. 
grab one of these orange bands and grab a blue band and pull it through everything that your hook is on. Go out, go underneath your bill. Not underneath, how about not underneath? Go back in that hole, grab the other side, pull it through, and slip knot it. That should hold your bill up a little bit. And it'll be in the inside. Now you're gonna place your safety eyes. To do, this is very simple if you've ever done it before. All you have to do is take your safety eye, find a place that you think will look good when you put it in, and place your eyes. Come back to me once you've finished this part. Now that you've got everything placed, you're going to do five more rows of single chains. Get your stitch back on your hook. And do five more rows of just single crochets like this. Just one stitch in each loop. Go all, all the way around five times to finish your length of your body. Come back to me when you're done. Now that you've finished all ten of your single chain rows, you weren't supposed to do like ten consecutively, just like five, then put the face on, then five. Once you finish that, you're going to move on to starting to decrease your little platypus. So you're going to go in this first stitch here, and we're going to be doing a single, single decrease method. One single in the first stitch, go into the second stitch, do a single in the second, and then you're going to go and do a decrease in the third and fourth stitches, grab the back half of your fourth stitch, and then the back half of your third stitch and do a single crochet inside. That's how you do a decrease. Now you're just gonna keep doing the single, single decrease the whole way around. I'll do one more pattern of it with you and then come back to me when you're done. Single. Single. Decrease. Fourth loop. Fourth back loop, third back loop, pull a band through. All right, now come back to me when you're done with this entire row. Now that you're done with that in that decrease row, you're going to start doing the next one. So this is going to be a single decrease pattern. Go in your first stitch and do a single crochet. First through second and third. Then grab your third stitch back loop only, and then your second stitch back loop only, and pull a band through, and do a single crochet. Now you're going to do that pattern over and over again until you get back to your S clip or C clip or stitch marker. So one single crochet, decrease back loop, third back loop second, single crochet. Now you're going to do that the whole way around. Come back to me when you're done. Before I show you how to do the feet, I'm going to show you how to attach the tail. Your tail should be like right about here, like above where you tied it off. So you're going to find your center. About right here. Go underneath one of these stitches here and come out the other side and pull the blue slip knot band that you will be attaching to either side through, then go to the opposite side under where you're going to be placing your thing, bring this through, bring bring that band through, pull it through the front, the top one, and go underneath, pull a band out, just pick any random band under underneath the tail, pull a band, pull one band through all your stitches, 
Oh, I'm being confusing again, aren't I? Okay, just, just never mind that for a second. Go in any band underneath the tail. Just This is just to hide it. Take one band, pull it through everything on your hook, then slip knot that band, and go inside your body and hide it. If that's not straightforward enough. I am not remaking this again, sorry, but if it's confusing, just ask me in the comments. I will try and answer my best with words. I attached it a little too high, but who cares? I'll fix that later. Now I'm going to show you how to make the feet. You're going to make four of these. You're going to put four loops on your hook. Then you're going to pull, you're going to cap a band on your hook and then pull the foot, like the four t things over top all the bands on your hook and then reclaim that, that and then do one more chain of that, double a band on your fingers, put it on your hook, pull that double band through the other things that are all on your hook, and there's this. So that's your foot, then you're going to pull a singular band through, like a blue one, and then you're going to find a place where you want to put it on the body. I want to put mine like right here, so we're going to go right about here, go underneath the band, pull that blue band through, and then tightly slip knot it, and pull inside the slip knot into the body to hide it, to hide your thing. And there's your little foot. As you can see, I put four little feet on this guy. Put, put the rest on and come back to you when you're done. Once you've attached your feet, you are done with your little Perry the Platypus. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that little notification bell so you can get more adorable tutorials like this. Alright, bye!